children in the Middle East, Jewish and Palestinian. And if you love humanity, if you love people, if you love life, let's beg for peace. Beg God for peace like I've been begging. That's it. That's, that's, that's my approach. Now I wake up today, I say, you know, I barely slept. Because a lot of my friends, you know, in the last two days, about two or three of my friends passed away from my era, from my age group, and also my young brother. So rest in peace, Mark the 45 King. It's one of the first guys try to put me on. Uh, Tracy 168, legendary graffiti writer, passed away. My young brother, Rob Cash, K.R., um, is in the hospital fighting. God bless him. Uh, see the man with his wife every day, with his family. Just a beautiful guy. Uh, you know, recently my brother, you know, due to diabetes, you know, the man's blind. They cut off his leg. You know, so... Another friend of mine told me he has prostate cancer. So, you know, Fat Joe, my position with my friends somehow has always been uh, a healer. Somebody who uh, prays over my people. Somebody who they look to for strength. But every now and then, You get beat up. No matter how strong you are, it beats you up. You, you, you know, I don't say you stop fighting. What I do say is to everybody out there, young, old, mostly my era and the era behind me, we have to take care of health as much as possible. Because this is not back in the day where our grandmothers and grandfathers used to live the 90 and 80. You know, people were dying 40s and 50s. And, and we got to at least try our best to take care of health. Now, we can't eat all type of fried shit, smoke blunts and drink every day thinking it's cool because we might even look skinny. You have to invest in your health because, trust me, I fear that something bad will happen to my health or happen to somebody I love. Because when you don't have your health, you do not have nothing. Understand that. When you do not have your health, you do not have nothing. I have a brother on here right now, Jeff. Got all the money in the world. He fought for his life for a year and a half. I mean, fought for his life. There wasn't a doctor, a hospital he didn't go to. And thank God that he made it out. And so, you got to try your best to figure out how to live health, how to eat right, how to exercise. Whatever you can do, there's guys out there working who say, yo, Joe, I'm out here working, man. I got to pay for my family, man. I ain't got time to. I'm telling you guys, maybe it's because I'm famous, but they keep coming up to me every week with three or, or two or three guys that I grew up with dying or catching cancer or having problems. You know, it's one of the reasons why I definitely back up power to the patients because the hospitals and the insurers are killing the American people by bringing everybody to bankruptcy. And so even me last night, uh, I had the best year financially I ever had in my life, thank God. But still, it could be all over with a health issue, with a health problem. Imagine I can't go perform. I can't go out there. I can't talk to you. I can't do TV. I can't do this because of my health. 